welcome back to the Bootstrapper's Guide. I'm Tori Norman and today I want to talk about whether or not Wave Accounting is the right financial software for your business. Now a lot of people ask me, is Wave Accounting better than QuickBooks? Is it better than QuickBooks Online? Really the question isn't, is Wave better, but is Wave better for your company? Every software is good or bad depending on the industry you're in and the focus that you want. So, to help my clients understand better which financial software or any software really is better for their company, I use a model I call FITS. FITS is an acronym that stands for the four main areas that I look to to understand whether or not a software is going to be the best option for my company. FITS stands for Financial, Infrastructure, Team, and Strategy. Now, when we talk about financial, obviously Wave Accounting is a free software. So you would think that any company can afford Wave, right? But there are more than just the cost of the actual software itself that we need to take into account. For example, if you have software that you are already using to track your financial information and you want to move to Wave, what are gonna be the costs of bringing your data from your other software into Wave? Also, as with any software, Wave is going to have some features that aren't as strong as others, depending on the type of industry you're in. And depending on your industry, it may be necessary for you to have an industry-specific software in addition to Wave in order to reach all of the types of financial reporting that you're looking for. So, if that's the case, what kinds of costs are involved in that software in order to make Wave function all around for what you need? So those are some of the things to take into account. But as far as the software itself goes, Wave is free. And that's a huge benefit to, uh, to working with Wave. The second section, infrastructure, deals with the types of hardware that you're going to need behind you in order to make Wave function properly. Now, Wave is a cloud-based or internet-based software program, which means you don't need to install it on your machine. You don't even have to have your own computer to access it. You could access it through any kind of a public library or any kind of a computer that has an internet connection. That being said, when we talk about infrastructure for cloud-based computing, what we're really focused on is your internet speeds. You want to be able to get the fastest internet speeds possible, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of transactions regularly. Also, Wave Accounting really capitalizes on the mobile market. So it uses a lot of mobile technology, mobile apps, to enhance its software. And in order to get the, the full benefit out of Wave Accounting, you really need to utilize a lot of these mobile applications. So, when you're thinking about infrastructure moving to Wave, you also want to be thinking about any kinds of tablets or smartphones that you or your team has and how the use of those devices might affect your data entry for financial purposes. Most of Waze Accounting's apps are available for Android and iPhone. However, if, like me, you have a Windows phone, nothing is available right now on the Windows phone and talking with the engineers at Wave I don't see it in the near future. So that being said, if you have a Windows device, you may want to invest in an inexpensive Android tablet or something that you can use to really benefit um, from all of the different apps. I use my iPad and that seems to work just fine for me. But that's something you'll want to think about as you start moving in that direction. Obviously, all of their apps are compatible with the iOS devices um, and anything Apple. And so, typically speaking, that's where I recommend going. Usually their apps come out there first and then to Android. So, if you really want to be on the cutting edge, you want to look at something iOS. iOS is obviously a little more expensive. So that's something to keep in mind as you look at infrastructure for Wave Accounting. The next thing I wanted to talk about is team. Uh, Wave Accounting is designed for a very small accounting staff. There are other softwares out there that require really having a team with dedicated individuals to specific roles in order for the software to function properly. That is definitely not the case with Wave. So Wave, you can have one person wearing the whole accounting hat and it runs just fine. The other thing is since it's web-based and you get free additional users, 
um, it's really designed to have an external accountant and I would highly recommend that you include in your team an outsourced or external accountant that can help you set up your chart of accounts, review your books, handle journal entries, depreciation, those sorts of things. Because WAVE is a full dual entry accounting system, there are certain elements of it that if you don't have an accounting background, it would be useful to bring in an accountant or a CPA that has that background you need. The last thing I want to talk about is strategy. So strategy is really the biggest part of determining fits for any kind of software with a business. What is it that you really envision for your business now and in the next five years? A few things to keep in mind with Wave. One, like many web-based accounting softwares, it tends to be inventory weak. What I mean by that is, with Wave Accounting, you can buy inventory and you can sell inventory, but that's about it. It's really not built for a manufacturing environment. And it's, depending on your retail environment, that can even be a bit of a struggle. Um, so if all you do is buy and resell, then yeah, Wave may work just fine for you. Or if you have a cash register software on the side that handles all of your sales information and your inventory, and really you're just feeding summary data back to Wave to handle your finances, then you're probably fine there too. But if you want Wave Accounting to handle manufacturing or things like that, it's really not going to work. And to my knowledge, there aren't any add-ons available yet that sync with Wave Accounting that handle that inventory function. So if you really want to dive into inventory, you may want to be looking at something like QuickBooks Online or QuickBooks Desktop. Um, that's not a really good fit if that's your strategy. Also, when you're thinking about strategy, you want to think about growth. So. Wave Accounting's niche market is really sole proprietors, single person owned businesses that have no more than five employees. Now obviously if you have more than that you can still run Wave Accounting, but that's really what it's designed for. Um, beyond that you start looking at more of an advanced business and, you, and, and businesses typically start moving out to something like QuickBooks. So, you know, if you plan on staying in that sole proprietor role for a long time, or at least in the foreseeable three to five year range, which is usually my range for software these days, then you're probably fine in Wave. But you, if you anticipate rapid growth and you plan on um, exceeding that size range fairly quickly, or you tend on you expect to bring on more advanced inventory functionality, within the next you know, two years or less, then I'd say you're probably better biting the bullet and actually purchasing software like QuickBooks or QuickBooks Online. Um, a lot of those can be obtained fairly inexpensive. You're talking you know, $160 to $200. Uh, they can be spread over three years. So you know, if you plan on growing fast, I would get in a software that's designed to grow with you, like QuickBooks. Uh, but if you're in that niche space where you're a sole proprietor, you have a very small staff, you don't really anticipate wanting to grow your business, you know, that rapidly, then I would say, you know, Wave Accounting is going to be a really good fit for you now and well into the future. And of course, um, another thing to keep in mind, since it is web-based software, it's really designed for people on the go, people that are going to be accessing it through mobile devices or from different locations. So if you're a business that travels a lot, and uh, or you as, a, as an owner tend to be out of the office a lot, or you have branches in multiple areas where you want to be able to manage accounting from multiple locations, then you know Wave Accounting may be a really good fit for you because of its web-based component over something like QuickBooks Desktop. So obviously, you know, we've talked about financial, your infrastructure, your team, and your strategy, all of those pieces play a role in determining whether or not Wave Accounting is going to be the best fit for you. Oftentimes people throw themselves at Wave Accounting simply because of the financial end of it, which is very attractive. But if the rest of the other three elements of FITS don't fit your business model, then you know it doesn't matter what the price is, you probably ought to move on to another software. But if you look at all four of those and most of the area tends to fit with Wave Accounting, then yeah, I'd say go ahead and go for it. If you decide that Wave Accounting is a good fit for your business, uh, definitely recommend subscribing to our YouTube page and uh, keep up on all the different videos that we have as we start teaching you more of the advanced features of how to really get the full value out of 
Wave Accounting, this free web-based dual entry accounting system.